I know everyone has been looking for a competitive warrior deck, and this is not it. This deck is really bad, don't play it, but it's kind of fun when it works. So it centers around Tony, King of Piracy, who says players swap their decks. But this is not a battle cry, so when Tony leaves play, the decks swap back. So our plan is to play Tony, we get the opponent's deck, and then we destroy the opponent's deck with the Fires of Zenijari, which replaces our current deck with random minions that cost five or more. And then Tony dies, the decks flip back, and they have a Fires of Zenijari deck. And that's where Steam Cleaner comes in. So Steam Cleaner destroys all cards in the decks that didn't start there, and at this point, the opponent's entire deck did not start in their deck. So with this simple three-card combo, we destroy the opponent's entire deck. Hopefully a relic deck, but it might not be. What if I just keep this hand? It's kind of good. I've got the fires for combos. I've got the drum kit and the bash for aggro. And I've got the two armor cards for the drum kit. I think it's pretty good. No one drop, but do they have a two drop? Okay, probably Relic. Wow. Uh, die. Isn't that your win condition in this matchup? Why does this weapon only have three power? Does this work? It does not. It's the next relic you play, and Noggling is not you. Tony! Alright, well... I've got as good a hand as I'm ever going to get against uh, against this deck. It's kind of hard to imagine them pressuring me enough that I can't play Tony next turn. Okay, that did seem important to take me down from 30. Hopefully they just top deck, like, instrument tech or something. Razorfin Rockstar, Shield Slam, any of that would be fine. Okay. Steam cleaner should just end it here. So the best hand they can have probably involves like double relic of phantasms and Zymox, which honestly might be pretty hard for me to deal with, but I do have two board clears. Okay, apparently their hand is not that.
up against priest. The last priest was aggro, but most of them are not, so I'm going to keep the combo stuff, because the combo stuff kind of dumpsters co uh, control priest. Nice. <laughs> they both have a start of game effect, so it's so stressful when that shows up. I think I have time to get more value out of Roaring Applause. Oh, baby. Well, I'm just curving out for uh, turn 7 Tony, I guess. So the best draw on my deck now is the other Fires of Zenijari, so they don't draw it on the Tony turn. Wait, what if they Identity Theft to Fires? Why did you emote? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, why did you emote? Well, next turn... I can draw three with Roaring Applause. can draw with Forged in Flame here, but I'm going to overdraw. I mean, if I'm just digging for fires as aggressively as possible, then overdrawing doesn't matter. I don't think etc hmm it can get ribbon there so maybe i want to play tail and to find the other steam cleaner so my instinct is just shield slam talon but it's kind of nice if talon dies so i can draw the steam cleaner so leaving them with a minion could be good i don't know I think I just need to... I, I just need to not worry about it too much. They didn't identity theft my Fires of Zenajari, right? Uh, Svalna is the card that uh, is really hard to beat if they have fires here. Alright, no fires. Should be a dub, but it's not a quick dub. There's definitely some game to be played. For each paladin card in your hand. So my deck has 12 cards in it. I think it's just Steam Cleaner. Alright, so my opponent has those cards to win with, but they do have the Vision of Darkness, which complicates things. They Tony'd me back. So that was their ETC card. But I just need to kill Tony and I get my deck back, so it's fine. Unless they have some sort of cute plan here. Once again, I value Tail and hitting Steam Cleaner, so I didn't want to use it to trade there. So the good thing is, Vision of Darkness 
Unless I'm forgetting something, it doesn't really find anything proactive. It's a bunch of, like, shadower deaths and stuff. Which do not help them kill me before fatigue. That helps. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can just lose to a series of drowns. Did I play my other drum kit already? I mean, I must have. I want to look at... Oh my god. I'm really just going to get drowned, huh? I guess I just have to stop playing minions. Why is the freaking official Hearthstone website not updated for the new expansion? It looks like the Shadow Pool is pretty small, though. So hitting Drown is pretty likely. I assume Drown is enemy minions. It is. I probably, if they just have a 3-4 in play, I just don't even really have to kill it. I probably should trade this off so they can't drown it. It's up to five fatigue. I think I just don't have to do anything for the rest of this game. This is not what we for. They instantly picked there. Not sure why, because nothing in my hand is good. Two minions, good enough, I guess. such compelling gameplay. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for uh, more gameplay like this. Did you know I have a VOD channel where I upload some of my longer play sessions? Haven't been uploading to it too much recently because I've been, uh, my, my schedule's been pretty rack. But I was uploading very consistently at the end of last expansion. Oh, they missed lethal. They gained the armor first. All right. Nice.
I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, but it's not those cards. Looking like a turn two Thalnos with this garbage hand. My blood boils for war. Okay, well, I just need fires and to not be dead on turn seven. Not being dead on turn seven is probably hard against Slither Spear Hunter. If only I hadn't played Thalnos, I could Blade Storm here. Should have bashed the two health minions so I could Blade Storm these. I don't even know what I want here. Slam, I guess. Next turn, maybe can be Blade Storm Instrument Tech. Or not. Awesome board clear. Well, I've got a hand that could win a game. I don't think it can win this game. But hey, maybe they value trade here and have a bunch of stuff that just dies to a one damage drum kit. There's just no way I can Tony Fires, right? My opponent's got 4, 6, 8, 12, 14. And I have no armor gain in hand. Alright. So, pretty decent chance I can shield slam Tony Fires. Maybe the opponent plays War Golem. I think I'm happy to see them spend mana drawing cards. Okay. Okay, I can combo here. This is only going to summon 1-2-2. Two, two. I don't even know if it's worth shield slamming, but it probably is. Is it? Yeah, take three damage off the table, I guess. They draw a warrior card here, which is probably not very impressive. Also, it kind of looked like with my deck tracker they drew Talon. But there's no reason I should actually know that. Okay, they drew shield block, so the deck tracker was just... Having fun graying out Talon, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. 1 in 13 and they hit the card that makes me lose with Steam Cleaner. I mean, I guess I just don't play Steam Cleaner. and I just have to outdraw them with fires. Oh, they got an 8, huh? I do want this to die because these are undead. And plus 1, plus 1 for each damaged minion. So this is a 4-8, which doesn't quite get the job done. You 
Well, that's a Hearthstone card. So my outdraw them with fires strategy is working pretty well so far. Famish Fool is also pretty good, I think. And Olgra combos kind of nicely with Bladestorm. Okay. Oh, that's. I always think this is a battle cry, but it's a death rattle. Very interesting. I mean, I'm just super winning. So I probably just play Steam Cleaner, right? I don't really want to take fatigue damage. Wait, do I have lethal? Punch here, Olgra. No, I need more than that to be damaged for Olgra. Weapon, Olgra. This hits for 28. I think it made sense to steam cleaner here. I don't think I ever had lethal. So even if they have like Deathwing, they're just dead to fatigue. This was a fight. That game was almost tragic. 